NEO applied to list on both the Singapore and Hong Kong exchange. This will help NEO increase liquidity and provide more capital for the company over time. However, how does dual listing work and how does it affect investors? Companies usually dual list through American Depository Receipts or ADRs. ADRs hold foreign shares in a trust account and grant US investors the same rights with a secondary monetary potential. When NEO is listed on both exchanges, investors can purchase NEO's ADRs from their online brokerage account as they would any other stock. Some purchases require a limit order if they trade over the counter. The price of NEO's dual listed stock will usually be the same on both exchanges. Therefore, investors have the option of purchasing NEO on the exchange of their liking. This is usually done through the investors' ADRs. That's what's been happening this week in the world of NEO stock analysis and predictions. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click the subscribe button at the bottom right and subscribe to Financial Health right now, so that next week you'll get the inside scoop on the latest developments to keep you and your business on the leading edge of NEO stocks and predictions. If you enjoyed this edition of NEO Stock Analysis and Predictions, leave a comment and please hit the like or share button, we'd really appreciate it. Are you still watching and want more? Check out last week's NEO Stock Analysis and Predictions by checking out our NEO playlist.